I was not planning on making this, but so many people have asked me over the past week, more than a week now, because it's now Thursday the 15th, I was not planning on doing this, but yeah, even on my last video, somebody asked me, so it wasn't the last one, it was one before. So let's jump into it, shall we? And it, this is actually interesting, because I would love to see what the comments say about how this, yeah, I'm not going to even mention it, but... How do you get your own sister? These are the new weapons and sorry, new Kuva Lich based. There's a huge bit of lore behind this I'm not going to touch upon. But how do you get the sister to come after you so you can vanquish them to get the weapon or convert them to be able to trade them? the wrong sister. There's also a few new ephemeras that are also added to the sisters and because people keep asking to get your sister to first become your sister you have to have a zenith granum crown. To get one of those you have to do the higher level missions and hope that well what is it the treasurer turns up who will drop one of these things. Oh, I hope I remember that. I think I have footage of one. I'm not really sure. Once you have one, you then need to go to any, and I mean any, corpus ship that is occupied occupied by the corpus. This does not work if it's occupied by the Grenier. I learned that one after wasting three coins. Because uh, the person you are after will not spawn if it's Grenier occupied. And you see that gold hand there? That's what you're aiming for. What mission you do to get there is completely up to you. It just has to be a corpus ship occupied by the corpus and not in that kind of mission. Though that may work in a nightmare mission, it's kind of not worth it, which is daft to say considering. Cannot stress this one enough before you start this mission if you are looking for a specific element on the weapon that you are going for. If it's impact, heat, cold, electrical, toxin, magnetic, radiation, I will leave this on the screen for a little bit so you can actually see the frames because you want to match the frame to the element that they come under. Urelli, being the newest frame, is magnetic. I used Urelli for one and Mesa for another and both of them were magnetic because I thought it would help. It really didn't. So I have two weapons that are magnetic that, well, I wish weren't. What you go for depends upon what kind of build you are aiming to have on a specific weapon. Because unlike the early days of the Kuva Lich, you can now choose what weapon you get before you start your sister off. And it doesn't matter if you do a level three to, uh, six to eight. I was looking at this one a second ago. That's where the three came from. Sabotage, you do interception. Defense won't really spawn it. You can do the three to eight survival mission or you can go to Pluto and you can do that kind of level. Makes no difference on the mission you are doing. You just need that hand to spawn. Just make sure there are no enemies around first. And then you just have to go here and it's the Zenith Granum Crown. This is funny from earlier because it's a Nightmare Granum Void. You have to get past at least rank 1. So you have to be able to take out at least 25 enemies doing this. This is one of the reasons the Orc Gun magically appeared in my hand. Because it is the quickest way to take them out. Not the most efficient. They are way more efficient. I think that's why I used Mesa for this originally. But... You just literally have to take out 25 of these and hope you don't make a fool of yourself by not reaching that 25. Because I have not done that once. I had a miscalculation in a lot of things and I basically didn't manage to hit the 25. I think I had um, 14. <laughs> uh, speaking of, that may happen again because these guys absolutely hate me in here anyway. After that... Well, you can see, made the 25 enemies and you'd basically just continue with the mission because not long after you come out of there, a contender will spawn. I was really hoping it was going to spawn quicker than this. Um, quicker, please? Uh, there you are. And this is the, what you need to spawn to get your sister. Yep, that door is locked. You're going nowhere. Take out the contender. Clear out the everything else if you so please. Run up to them and you can see what weapon they have. That 
is my third one of those in a row. Then you just hold down X and well that's it. You now have an active sister against you. The contender turns into a sister upon completing the mission. But after that mission, just come out of the menu when you're standing here, they will start to talk to you and cross your fingers. You get a hold of one of the new ephemeras that only they have. I've had one. This is sister number 10. And I've had one and it was on my second one. Second sister, according to this. But once they're finished talking, you just go into the menus. You have this new option here. You can go in and you can see what they are weak to. I believe that's blast and slash. Could not could be wrong on that one, wouldn't be surprised. What weapon they have, what percentage to the bonus they have, where you made them, and what frame you were using to do it. And the Hound also has the frame that you had when you made them on their head. Then follow that waypoint on any corpus mission or any mission that is selected. Take the Hound down and then perform a takedown. Mercy takedown. Uh, hope that doesn't happen because, well, then your sister or other players' sisters will turn up during these missions and downing them, like so, is how you go in and go for the Requiem guess. If you have all three Requi Requiems, it's obviously better, but this will happen more times than not, sadly. There should be anything from three to four of the the hounds, I may refer to them as doggos, but they are hounds, that appear in a mission. More if sisters turn up, but that is when doing something like capture missions, it kind of comes into play. Two of them will be there. It's best to not leave until you have at least the third one. I have found three to four the butter zone, after that they tend to just stop spawning, unlike for the Kuvalich. Uh, yeah, those things, the thralls, they will spawn a lot more, but you get a lot more Requiem for the sisters, and I mean a lot. This is two missions, and I have almost completed the second one. Once you are 100% certain that you have the complete Requiem, which I know we have here because that is guaranteed the first card, and that is guaranteed not the last card, meaning that, well... That's the correct order. I had the old card in there just in case, but for some reason the second time was a bit of a... It worked, but it glitched. Once you have a guaranteed Requiem, then you need to get them to spawn. To get them to spawn, you have to still take out the hounds because you need to fill out this bar here that says indifferent. They can still spawn at indifferent. You can also use the Requiem Ultimatum, of which I have none. Um, yeah, I stupidly used the last one. You need to fill that up by taking out the hounds and getting more murmur. It's kind of a weird one, but it's true. Second Requiem time. Hopefully by now somebody's actually bothered to take out the hound to stop her from uh, becoming invincible again. Yep, third one and she is done. Pay attention to the bottom of the screen here. Because once it's done, flees to Neptune Proxima. Yep, to Finish taking out your sister. This is exactly the same for the Lich, and I'm out of here. After that mission, because it's real, Jack, you can see the blue glow has completely gone from all the planets, and the sister logo is gl glowing, pulsating in the top right. You do not need any Requiems for this. Mods you have in there, you may now take out if you see fit. Now, you have to go... To Neptune. It seems to be pretty much exactly the same place for everybody. The sisters is Neptune and I think it's either Earth or Venus or Saturn or I think it's Saturn for the Lich. The spawning order of these is kind of weird though. It usually goes the hosts first, second is the second one to uh, load in, third is the third load in. It goes by team members. You need to take out as you can see on the left, it's not even coming up because, well, there she is. And I should be shooting you because I'm set up to actually take you down. We'll have to do this in a minute, but there's my sister. Yours will be exactly the same. Excuse me. You need to then choose what you want to do once you take them out and hope that doesn't happen. Okay, there's just something in the way. Vanquish gets you the weapon. Convert doesn't. 
I am converting because I already have all of these, but if you want the weapon, you have to vanquish. There is no ifs or buts. If you want the weapon, you have to vanquish them. Otherwise, convert them. Converted ones are tradable. If you can see on the left, you have to defeat the two oh, spectres. When you first get into the area, they will go down quickly. Then you'd have to take out the sister's hound that spawns in with it. Until you do this, the sister cannot be taken down. Mine just went down s silly quick. You have to actually recreate it as well. Murmur it, mercy kill, whatever. And then, well, this was a level one. It was always expected it was going to go down really quick anyway. Then after the mission, you will receive hound parts pretty much guaranteed every time. I think I have the core I'm now looking for because uh, it didn't drop for the first seven and I've done three since so hopefully I now have the one I'm looking for but you will get the hound parts and into your inbox will go that's what I'm looking for no it's not either a message that says you have taken down the sister and you have gotten the weapon and the hound which you then go and pick up from the Ooh, the foundry. Nearly forgot what that was called. If you have an ephemera, you will also be able to pick that up and get that. If you convert, you are supposed to still get the ephemera. You just don't get the weapon or the hound. There are eight new tenant weapons that the sisters actually have. The four melee weapons you buy from the relay using um, new material that you get from the void void storms in real jack missions and they are a rare drop i don't care about this 25 percent i've had it drop twice and had more missions fail than that well glitch out than that so the melee weapons are quite painful to get the rest of the weapons the sisters have whether you go for those or whether you go for the kuva weapons is completely and utterly up to you with that though i think we'll leave this off here this was way longer than I was hoping it was going to be, so thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.